Hey there, math enthusiasts. Welcome back to our educational journey. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of ratios and proportions and their incredible applications in real life. Get ready to discover the wonders of math and the world around us. Let's jump right in. First things first, let's understand what ratios are. A ratio compares the relationship between two or more quantities. It's like comparing apples to oranges, or in our case, numbers to numbers. Ratios help us understand proportions and how things relate to each other. Imagine you have a jar filled with marbles. You count 10 red marbles and 5 blue marbles. The ratio of red marbles to blue marbles is 10 to 5, or simplifying it, 2 to 1. This tells us that for every 2 red marbles, there is one blue marble. Now that we know about ratios, let's explore proportions. Proportions are simply ratios that are equal. They show how different quantities are related in a consistent way. Proportions play a crucial role in many real-life scenarios, from cooking to architecture, and even in art. Let's say you have a recipe that requires two cups of flour and one cup of sugar. If you want to double the recipe, you need to maintain the proportion between the ingredients. So, you would use four cups of flour and two cups of sugar. By doubling both quantities, the ratio remains the same, ensuring the right balance of ingredients. Imagine you're in the kitchen, trying out a new recipe. Ratios come into play when you need to scale down or scale up the ingredients. Let's take a look at a practical example. Suppose a recipe calls for a ratio of two cups of flour to one cup of sugar. But you only have one cup of flour. In order to maintain the ratio, you would use half the amount of sugar, which is one half cup. By adjusting the ratio, you can still make a smaller batch of the recipe with the same flavor proportions. Did you know that architects and engineers use proportions extensively in their work? When designing buildings, they consider proportions to ensure structural integrity and aesthetic appeal. The golden ratio, a famous mathematical concept, is often used to create visually pleasing designs. The golden ratio, also known as phi, is approximately 1.618. It appears in many natural and man-made structures, such as the Parthenon in Greece and the shape of seashells. This ratio is believed to create visually pleasing proportions that are appealing to the human eye. Have you ever looked at a map and noticed the scale at the corner? That scale represents the ratio between distances on the map and the actual distances on the ground. It helps us understand the real-world distances and plan our journeys accurately. For example, let's say the scale on a map is 1 inch equals 10 miles. If you measure the distance between two cities on the map and it's 2 inches, the actual distance between those cities would be 20 miles. The scale provides a proportional relationship between the map and the real world. Ratios and proportions are not limited to math problems alone. They are essential in financial planning too. Whether it's budgeting, calculating discounts, or analyzing investment returns, ratios and proportions help us make. Ratios and proportions are not limited to math problems alone. They are essential in financial planning too. Whether it's budgeting, calculating discounts, or analyzing investment returns, ratios and proportions help us make informed decisions about our money. Let's take budgeting as an example. When creating a budget, you allocate different proportions of your income to various expenses such as rent, groceries, transportation, and savings. By understanding your income and expenses in terms of ratios, you can ensure that you're spending within your means and saving for the future. Now, let's talk about discounts. Have you ever come across a sale with a discount percentage? This percentage represents the ratio of the discounted price to the original price. For instance, if an item is on sale for 25% off, you can calculate the discounted price by multiplying the original price by the ratio 75 to 100, which simplifies to 3 to 4. Understanding these proportions helps you determine how much you'll save and make smart purchasing decisions. Another important aspect of financial planning is analyzing investment returns. Ratios such as the return on investment ROI, allow you to evaluate the profitability of your investments. By comparing the gains or losses to the initial investment, you can assess the performance of different investment opportunities and make informed choices for your financial future. 
Understanding ratios and proportions in the context of financial planning empowers you to take control of your finances, make informed decisions, and work towards your financial goals. Whether it's managing your budget, calculating discounts, or evaluating investments, math is an indispensable tool in the world of finance. Now that we've explored various applications of ratios and proportions in real-life scenarios, from cooking to architecture, financial planning to sports statistics, it's clear that math is all around us. Ratios and proportions help us make sense of the world and make informed decisions. Speaking of informed decisions, let's dive into the world of sports and statistics. Ratios and proportions are heavily involved in analyzing player statistics. Whether it's calculating shooting percentages in basketball or batting averages in baseball, ratios provide a clear picture of a player's performance. For example, in basketball, a player's shooting percentage is calculated by dividing the number of successful shots by the total number of attempts. This ratio helps determine a player's efficiency on the court and allows coaches and teams to assess their skills and make strategic decisions. Similarly, in baseball, batting average represents the ratio of a player's successful hits to their total number of at-bats. This ratio provides valuable insights into a player's consistency and performance at the plate. It helps scouts, coaches, and fans gauge a player's abilities and contributions to the team. Let's take a moment to recap and apply what we've learned about ratios and proportions in real-life examples. Consider a recipe that requires two cups of flour and one cup of milk. You can double the recipe by doubling the ratio to four cups of flour and two cups of milk. It's all about maintaining the proportion between the ingredients. In architecture, the golden ratio guides the proportions of structures, creating visually appealing designs that stand the test of time. And when you read a map with a scale, you're using ratios to understand distances accurately. Even in financial planning, ratios help you budget, calculate discounts, and analyze investment returns. In conclusion, ratios and proportions are fascinating mathematical concepts with practical applications in real life. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep exploring the wonders of math.